we got a lot in common, Principal Fakey. I think of my entire produce section as a classroom. And ironically, the eggs are the dumb ones and the cabbages are the eggheads. Reverend Putty, tuna cone. No thanks. Oh, but it's a fun hors d'oeuvre. Not for me, it isn't. Oh, come on, Reverend. It's delicious. Roberta, I have one bite of that hors d'oeuvre, and I guarantee you that I will get explosive diarrhea in 13 seconds. Oh. No, you're better when you drink. Oh, Danielle, I miss your little face. Thanks for coming to the premiere of my new film, everyone. Oral, I hope that's not one of my clean sheets you're using. Nope, I took it off Dad's bed. What? Oh, good. Mmm. Ladies and gentlemen of Moralton State of Soda, the lessons I have learned here in this town have been so inspiring that I have been moved to reflect on them in not only an educational manner, but also artistically. I don't know if most of you are familiar with the process of stop-motion animation, <gasps> but fear not! Stop-motion animation is a hobby of mine that has made it possible for me to immortalize all of you here tonight and tell the story that you are profoundly inspired. And we're all gonna do the voices. No way, I quit. This movie is stupid and... <sighs> oh, well. Please sit back and enjoy the premiere of my first feature stop motion animated film, Crack, Pastry Bags, and Zombies, The Unholy Trinity. Here he comes from heaven, here he comes parting the clouds above. Oh, here comes the Lord to your birdie haunts, then upon his finger perch. He may come here to stay just to watch us pray in his favorite church. He can... Hey, hey, uh, <clears throat> hey, hey, Oral Puppington, my son. Go, go, go. Yes, Clay Puppington, my father, who looks like a puppy because he is loyal and good. Uh, you don't have to hurry. Good, good, good. God never minds if we show up drunk and or late to church. Yes, father. Friends, being the most respected and righteous man in Moralton, it really is a wonderful responsibility to be so important. I mean, I am so wondrously wise and blessed that it is hard to find words to describe the goodness of being me. Almost as wonderful as God, except God is the best thing ever, and he gave us Jesus. I love Jesus so much that nothing else matters to me. I don't need girlfriends or wives or anything like that. I'm happy being all alone forever. And how do I stay so holy? I follow the three most important rules. Treasure God's greatest gift of life, give to the poor, and never waste my sperm. Amen. Don't we look? God loves life more than death. We need to raise your dead grandfather from the dead. Okay. How, though, moral? It's, it's oral. Uh, uh, oral? Maybe I'll have an idea. There's an idea over your head there. You're right. Let's start digging. Let's stop digging. Good idea. There's the coffin with my grandpa in it. I'm not under the ground. It sure is not. Let's take his clothes off. But why? There. He looks good and naked now. Hallelujah. But I'm not looking. I'm going to read from this book that's written in a different language. Bonjour, arrivederci, ooh la la, that's Italian. Ching, 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 chong. Spaghetti, top of the morning to ya. I'm a scaredy cat. But look, your naked grandfather is not sinning by being dead anymore. Hooray! Hello, God. Look what we did! Uh-uh. I'm the police, and I think this is all bad. Rawr. I only eat brains. Rawr. God bless you, boys. God is very pleased. My grampy never liked brains so much when he was alive or even when he was dead. Yes, but we should still do this to everybody for God while this song plays. Bow down to Jesus' bidding. I kid you not, the Lord is not kidding. Burn in heaven. Burn! The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not walk. He leadeth me to lie down in green pastures. He restoreth my soul. All dead people.
people need their clothes off. I still don't remember why. Oro, oh, hi, it's your dad. I need to teach you what you did wrong by beating you in my study. G -g -g -g. Because that's what I do in the study to you. I beat you, and then I lecture you. And that's it. Nothing else. I know. Come here, Oro, while you're pulling your pants up from my spanking. Is his dad molesting him? What? I have books in my study that explain some things about nakedness being bad. Now get your mother sewing clothes for the zombies. It's what ladies do. Here are your clothes. Try not to get brains all over them. Ah, thanks, Oro. Now you are smart. Now go to school, Oro. I'm tired of fathering for now. Boy, school is fun, especially when I get to go to the bathroom and masturbate. My mind wanders in fun ways when I do this. Give me that. Joe, I think that was. Joe, yeah. back it off. <laughs> Give it back. Hey, Oro, the reviews are in. This movie gets two and a half. Ooh. Let me read the line. And here they are. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, all right, everybody. My name is Joe, and I'm going to do all the acting for this movie. So don't turn the pissy sheet. Joey, go see your line. Uh, yes. And here's the snake. Joe! I hope it eats all. Yes, that's fun and good, but not masturbating, is it? Oh, no. The reverend said that's a waste of sperm. I always put my sperm in places that will not waste, hopefully. Hey, that actually looks like Principal Fakey, the dumb guy in school. <laughs> he cheats on his wife with the dumbest girl ever, Nurse Bendy. Ugh. Let me read the line. Okay, all right, everybody. Hello, Father. It's Oral. Hey, Oral. Joe, hooray for being dumb. Three cheers. Hip, hip. Who cares? Joey, Joey, say your line. You have to be God's chef. With Boy, the this movie eats underwear mind. because I just and pooed in everyone in the world's pants, pants just now, ten years ago. Joe, don't do that without the... Oh, here I am in a lady's bedroom. Remember when I made all those ladies have babies? Joey, yeah. read the script. Oh, and now I'm in trouble with the policy aided police. <laughs> I hope they handcuff me to a fat lady forever, starting ten years ago. Stay on the script, Joe. <laughs> if you let your seeds spill, you go to hell. If you put them in a woman with a pastry bag, you also go to hell. And then I'm going to take these pieces of paper and stick them at my nose and run around like a clown. Hi, Dad. Want to drink my pee? Ooh, that's what I do for a living. Look at this guy with animals all over him. I wish he was me, because I may be the stupidest thing ever, and my name is Oral, uh, or Oral's dad, so there. Ooh, this is too dumb, even for me. Mr. Figarelli, you're an egg, because you came out of a chicken's pee hole, and now they're illegal, because Oral is Miss Sensordow's favorite jerk. Ooh, hi, I'm Clay Puffington, and I'm drinking stupid juice, and boy, does it work, right, Jesus? Yeah. I'm Jesus, and I agree you're stupid. This movie sure does stink. I hope it dies like we all do someday. Yeah, that's pretty scary. I'm <laughs> not going to think about that anymore. Oh, there's some money. Yay, I'm going to buy drugs because now I'm dumber than ever. Now I'm going to smoke this stuff. Uh, just because I'm a weirdo and, uh, mm, mm, whoa. <laughs> this part's pretty good. I I'm just going to watch this. Wow. Hi How'd you do that, Oral? You ruined my movie. Shut up. I hate it again. Woo! Oh, here we are Mr. Figarelli's worthless store full of boogers and earwax. Now Oral's beating up Mr. Figarelli, which is good because I hate Mr. Figarelli, but bad because I hate Oral. Eh, here I am as Oral buying more drugs. Oh, and there's a bunch of idiots with Oral's dad. And this movie wins an award for smelling like everyone's butt all at once. Hey, I'm totally great. Yay! Look at all you people. You're all dumb. Hey, Dr. Potter's wheel. Want me to stick out my tongue and say, ah? Ooh! Hey, Mr. Figarelli. Why don't you take your mustache and put it on top of your head? Ooh! The bird of Puppington. Hi. Enjoying the show? And me. I'm stupid, too. Ooh! Gee, Joe completely changed the meaning of everything I wrote. Gosh, Oral. That's too bad. Yeah. I guess sometimes certain things get misinterpreted. Like what? Hmm. Not sure. He controls our every move with his steady hand, but we all still have the choice to be good or bad, so tidings are glad, for we all have a voice. So let's all sing a hymn, sing out loud to him who promises everlasting life. 
Hello, goodbye.